Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Ethereum. So, today I'm gonna be doing a Ito Ito no Mi showcase for y'all boys, and I'm also gonna be doing a um a uh, Do Flamingo versus Law in, a, in another video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Can't wait to edit that up for you guys so you guys can see that. But let's go ahead and check out Ito, right? So Ito is a very very strong fruit. And for those of y'all who are wondering if it has the string flight, no, it does not have the string flight right now. I know, I know it's disappointing, but hopefully it gets it in the future. So the first move of Ito Ito is ripping string. Very, very powerful move and very quick. It also doesn't take any stamina at all. I mean, it takes a little bit, but like not too, too much where it's going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm missing my stamina, but check it out. So you have a move like that, right? Now you don't even have to be direct. You can actually spawn it near. It'll still do damage. It's very quick as well. Extremely fast, dealing insane amount of damage per tick. It's also instant as well. So as long as you aim it over there, you quick fire it, you should be fine. Boop, boop. Next up, we have the second move, which is Parasite. Now, this move is basically you just grab the person and pulls it towards you. But um, in addition to that, I think it also has a massive range. Like, I think as long as you have your cursor on a person, no matter what the range is, you're always going to grab them. Now, let me go ahead and try a little experiment with that, right? Let's try a little experiment. So you guys see, I was like all the way back here when I grabbed that dude just now, right? So let's go ahead and try when I'm on this building right here. Let's see if it works out. Let's see if this works out. And it does. So this move seems to have an infinite amount of range. Obviously, I haven't checked from like somewhere all the way back there and so on and so forth. But so far, it seems like this range is insanely massive on this Parasite move. Um, next after that, we have Fulbright. He usually creates five strings from his hand and throws them downwards in hopes of impaling the target from above. Now this move is close range. You have to be very close with it. It also does the least amount of damage out of all the moves. Like it does way less damage than that. Way less damage than um you guys see what I mean, but and I also think it has like limited range as well. Like I don't think you can Oh, wait, never mind, it does it. It doesn't have limited range, so this is something else that's going to be very useful for you guys. Um, the cooldown is very long on it, though. And you can't hit people from, like, that far, it seems like, either. Let's try that one more time, see if it works out. Uh, wait, cooldown, please. Well, you know, it, it's decent. It's decent, all right? It's decent for what it is. That in combination with the R move is going to be something serious because you could just use it right back to back just like that lastly we have um second to last we have spider web so this right here is going to be your combo starter basically right what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pop down like for example let me go back on that building that i showed you guys all the way back here let me jump up on here like so dash over like so so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pop this spider web right and you're going to want to pull the enemy in from all the way over there. They get stuck to it. And then, oh, I did a little bit too slow right there. But you're going to want to pop it and then let the enemy get stuck to it. And then you're just going to do a whole bunch of DPS from there. So let me pop that one more time so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Pop the spider web. Grab them. They get stuck in the spider web. And then you just do DPS. Simple. Pretty simple. Um, Lastly... We have overheat, which the user shoots out a thick rope made of condensed string and whips at the target, creating an explosion on impact. Very, very devastating move that leaves burn. Um, I think I would be able to actually hit both of these NPC right here if I do use it. And I did. It has a, it's a medium range, I would say. It's not like super, super duper long range, um, which is fair for how much damage it does. But um, yeah, it's a very powerful move. Very, very powerful move. And now the full DPS combo of Ito is you. Let me make sure the cooldown is back already before I use it again. 30 seconds. I think 30 seconds has been up by now. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to pop this. Then you're going to grab them. And I missed the grab. But 
what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the Q, R, and then X right afterward. And then that should do a massive amount of damage, bringing the enemy around your level to about maybe 25% health or so. But yeah, guys, please leave a like if this helped you out in any way. Go ahead and check out my Pika showcase that I did previously. And like I said, in the next videos, I will be doing Ope versus String, Doflamingo versus Law. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been Ethereum Miracle. I'm out. Deuces. <laughs>